Hello, everybody. With 4.8 to 12.7 million tons of plastic ending up in the world's oceans, and 80% of that coming from the land and coastlines, there's an overwhelming concern about the plastics that we use in our everyday lives. So what can you do to reduce your plastic use? One of the simplest ways to do so is to invest in reusable grocery bags. One of the main and most important advantages of reusable grocery bag is that it can be used over and over again. This avoids the need to buy a new bag each time you go to the grocery store. Another major benefit of using such bags is that they avoid the negative impact made on the environment by using plastic or paper bags. Moreover, they help in reduce the paper production, which indirectly leads to cutting down of trees all over the globe. Thus, it is safe to say that the bags help protect the environment in a big way. With that being said, every pro has a con. Some of the cons could include uh, bacteria from carrying meats and vegetables, um, the inconvenience of always having to have a bag in your car, and even a uh, 2011 study by the UK government found that a person would have to reuse a cotton tote bag 131 times before it was better for the climate than using a plastic grocery bag once. And the Danish government recently did a study that took into account the environmental impacts beyond simply greenhouse gases and including water use and damage to the ecosystems and air pollution. These factors would make cloth bags even worse. They would, they estimated that you would have to use an organic cotton bag 20,000 times more than a plastic grocery bag to make using it better for the environment. That said, the Danish government's estimate doesn't take into account the effects of bags littering land and sea, where plastic is clearly the worst offender. So all things considered, there's no easy answer. Everyone's got to make their own lifestyle decisions. And I mean, there's pros and cons to these bags. Um, you just got to decide what works best for you and your family. You know, whether it's continuing to use plastic bags and making sure that they end up properly recycled or placed in the trash so they don't end up in the oceans, or maybe a mix between reusable bags and plastic bags, maybe just all paper bags where they're e more easily recycled. At least in the Richmond area, you can recycle paper bags, but not plastic bags very easily. But that's it. That's all the information. And hopefully we can all make a decision that benefits our planet. Thank you.